What's really scary is this. I'm 37. I grew up on a council estate. I was broke for most of my life. I made all my money myself. And even I have disdain for the poor. Because I look at them and go, you didn't try at all. I did it. With all of the pain I went through and all the problems I had while also fighting and becoming a kickboxing world champion, I still managed to do it. You started at a higher bracket than me. You started from a middle income at home. Your dad was, you had food. I didn't have food and I was a world champion. How did you fail so massively? And I look at them and just think of them as, you're an idiot. And if I feel that, imagine how the elites look at us. Imagine you're born into a lineage, a bloodline that have been in charge of the banks forever. Imagine how you view poor people. You think you give a shit whether they live or die? I'm talking about someone who's only been rich for 10 years. And when someone comes and complains to me about being broke, I'm like, oh, you're a dummy. You didn't even try. So imagine you were born filthy rich and your family's always been rich and you're told about how your family's always controlled everything because you're smarter than everybody else. Imagine how much disdain the elites truly have for the common man. Most men are walking through life and they don't realize that it's constant competition. Mm -hmm. I was driving here, even as I was driving here, I was looking out the window and I was looking at all these people just walking around. One of them had a fucking croissant. One of them was dressed like a dickhead because it's London. He thinks he fucking looks cool. He's a fucking moron. We've all seen them. Yeah, moron. <laughs> Some of the dudes just talking shit on the phone. Some other guy with headphones in waiting to be fucking murdered. Wouldn't even hear it coming. And all these NPCs, I'm just looking at them going, do they realize they're in endless constant competition? Every single pound they want, someone else wants. Every single girl they want, someone else wants. There are people like me out here. I will destroy, you could get all 30 of them in a room and I will sit by myself and absolutely annihilate them in any single metric. And they're just sitting there just fucking floundering and wandering through life, unaware of how competitive the world is. Well, and whinging how unfair and it is. And whinging how unfair it is. And this is my point. If the world is truly that competitive, you do not have time to be depressed because it's a non-competitive mind state. The reality of masculinity is controlling your emotions. This is the reality of being a man. Mm. They try and say that men should give in and it's okay to cry. I'm not saying you can never cry if something bad doesn't happen to you. I'm saying that the, the tenets of masculinity since the dawn of time have been, I was afraid, but I did it anyway. Yeah. This is the tenets of masculinity. Courage. I, well, courage. Yeah. I, that's what courage is. Yep. I was afraid to storm the beaches of Normandy, but I did it anyway. I was afraid to stay on the Titanic, but I did it anyway. This is the whole tenets of masculinity. And now they're saying, oh, if you're afraid, just act afraid to be a pussy. Whenever somebody gives you their opinion on anything, Listen to the opinion and then stop and look at who told it to you. Because you never want to adopt the thinking of somebody who you don't want to be. Because their thinking made them. So whatever they believe in their mind is why they are the person they are. So if somebody sits and says to you, you should be more humble. I sit and think, okay, it's my logical, this is how my brain works. He believes I should be more humble. That's how his mind operates. The closer my mind operates to his mind, the more likely I am to be like him. Who is he? And I'll look at the person who said that to me and say, no, thank you. No, sir, I refuse. It, it, being humble, is that how you got to where you are? Is that how you got? No, you, you keep humble. I'll keep winning. You can give. Because most people who talk about humble, all they really want is to not be reminded of how they have failed. They don't want me to make it clear to them that they have failed. If you say to yourself, you know what? I'm reading all this shit on Twitter about drop shipping. Will it make money? Will it not? I don't know. But you know what? This weekend, I'm going to start a dropshipping company. If you actually say it, and then you're like, okay, well, I've said it now, so I have to do it. Saturday comes around. Even if you don't want to do it, even if you're not in the mood, whatever, whatever. But because you found the motivation to previously say it, and you're not the kind of guy who lies to himself, you're not a coward. Like, yeah, hey, yeah. I'm not full of shit. I, well, I, I mean what I say. By the end of play Saturday, you might have a dropshipping company, or you'll at least know more, or you'll at least look into it. You might be making a hundred bucks a day. Who knows? It might change your life. So all you have to do is find the motivation to say things. I say to Tristan, yeah, I'm going to go on that train. I'm going to train five hours. If I said it, that was it. I had to do it because I, I couldn't live with myself knowing I was one of them bullshitters. You could be depressed for X, Y, Z, whatever. I'm not depressed. And I want the money you want, and I want the girl you want, and I want the status you want, and the car you want, and the house you want. And I'm going to get it, and you're fucking not. And that's the bottom line of life. If you gave that guy that stuff, he probably wouldn't be depressed. Well, he's get up off his ass and work then, doesn't business. he? And this is the point. <laughs> he yeah. probably so, would because he wouldn't have a direction in life. I think it's a very empowering message that you share. And, you know, you can, I think if you can fix it with pills, you can probably fix it by going to the gym and, and doing all of these other aspects. But pills doesn't even about. fix it. Pills just numbs it. Masks. It yeah. masks it. Well, it's not a holistic way to treat it, is it? Whereas what you're saying is more so. Yeah, what, what I'm saying is you're playing a game and it's a competitive game and you need to build a mindset that allows you to be ultra 
ultra competitive. And if you want to sit there and say, no, I want a non-competitive mindset, then fine. You know what you call people who do not win competitions? Losers. Correct. The brokey days were good days, bro, man. Like I, I, I'd get McDonald's and you're laughing with your boys. Yeah. The brokey days are great. And I'm not complaining about being rich. Obviously I worked hard for this and it's, and it's a fantastic life I live now. But I think without those brokey days, without those original days to compare it to, without that juxtaposition, then I don't think being rich would be fun at all. I think it's only fun because you can compare it to the days when you weren't rich. That's the only thing that makes it fun. The only thing that makes a $10,000 stake fun is that you can laugh saying how you never had 10 grand in your bank till you were 27 years old. Yeah. Like that's the, otherwise it's boring. Otherwise you okay, stake. And I think if you're born with too much money that you'll never truly be happy. I think you need the brokey days are the best days. Normalcy now is being psyoped from all angles. I feel like in the 1950s a normal man was a winner. The normal man went to a normal job and had a normal family in a normal house and a normal car and a normal life. But I feel like the normal person now is two fam two parents working, children being raised by the matrix and school being bombarded with propaganda. Bills barely paid. Depressed, angry, anxious, watching the BBC. I feel like normalcy has been changed from being a winner to being a loser. So now being normal is just losing in a way which is so familiar to the people around you are losing that you don't realize you've lost at all because everyone's losing. So you're like, "Oh, I'm just normal." No, no, you've all lost. You've all lost. None of you are free. You've all lost. And that's even more scary. You can't even be normal anymore. To be a winner, you have to be exceptional. You could be a winner as a normal person only 50, 60 years ago. Now the normal people can't even win. because they they're they're grinding down society that the bracket of normal is going further and further down. I got people all the time on Twitter tweeting me. Yeah, it's hey, you're the man. I'm the same. I'm the same. I'm like you're not. <laughs> I know that if I were to come up to you and say, "All right, we're going to do this now." You'd have some excuse. So like, I my words are absolutely sacred, especially to myself. And and that's why I'm very careful with what I say because like I said, if I threaten someone, even if I don't want to do it anymore, I have to do it. Cuz I to myself I won't betray myself and that allows you to start thinking a lot more carefully about what you say. Yes. Think about what carefully about what you say you get a lot more direction and clarification on which direction your life is going and it's just fulfilling your own word man. I said I was going to be world champion over and over and over again. I was nervous to lose. Not so I was nervous to get knocked out. I was nervous I'll look like a liar. I told everyone I was going to win. No oh, shit, you know? yeah. This is how it as how I was. I was like no, I'm going to do this. I'm going to have this. When I bought when I picked up my Lambo The best feeling about picking up is that I told everyone for years I'm going to have a Lambo. Lambo's my car. I'm going to push a Lambo. When I guarantee you I'm going to find a way to push a Lambo. I don't lie.